Every now and again in esports, a player emerges in a game to become the hero. To carry his team onward to victory and send the crowd to their feet. Are you kidding me? He picks it up! Ace clutch right into the grand final! Even more rarely, the hero emerges in front of their hometown crowd, with the cheers of the faithful ringing in their ears. These moments are elevated by the crowd and their love of the local boy. Yes! Taking otherwise amazing plays and bringing them to iconic status. Therefore, it's right that the moment we look at today, a highlight that caused the player to go from local favorite to legend with just one game, happened in the Philippines. This is DJ's Black Holes from the Manila Major. DJ, are you kidding me? From the low ground! DJ. When Valve announced its third major would be in Southeast Asia, it was only fitting that Manila, the capital of the Philippines, would receive the honor of hosting. Few places on earth are as dedicated and passionate about esports as the Philippines, and Dota 2 is among the foremost of their loves. It's a fantastic country, very vibrant, very colorful, and the best crowds on planet Earth. Better believe it. At live events, the crowd is either loud or outright deafening, and not a decibel lower. And so when one of the sons of the Philippines pulled off the play of the tournament and became the hero his team needed, you'd better believe the crowd and everyone watching would never forget it. In the clutch, they deliver. In front of the SCA crowd, more than happy to see Fnatic move on to top six. Well, this Filipino crowd have a play to cheer for. It may just be one, but one is all it takes. It's time for the main event. On the first day, the Filipino crowd had to watch as Mineski Sports 5 was eliminated from the tournament by Alliance. Last throw of a dagger, down goes the throne, and Alliance move on. They survive. Mineski eliminated here at the Manila Major in front of a hometown crowd. A brutal way to go out, but it does set the stage. Thankfully, there was one SEA representative remaining, Fnatic. While the Fnatic roster was mainly Malaysian, there was still one Filipino left on which the crowd could pin their hopes. Jardel, Jiko, DJ, Mampusti. With Mineski out of the picture, the pressure was on for Fnatic to deliver. Unfortunately, Fnatic was set to take on the ever-threatening LGD Gaming, who had topped their group and were looking to knock the final SEA team into the perilous waters of the lower bracket. I'm not entirely sure what LGD is up to or what they did, I just know that Fnatic is probably stronger than ever right now. And what they need to do is just play their style, draft solid lineups, and just beat ourselves, you know. LGD took a confident game one in just over half an hour. But Fnatic struck back in game two to draw the series even. LGD came into the deciding game three hard and fast taking the fight right to Fnatic and pushing the tempo Ivory early. A lot of damage. They have maybe coming in the breathe fire, should do the job, and they will. Sep will get your first blood. 3-4-3 three, three, getting rolling boulder. They get the stun out. The kick into the stun from Sep. Nicely done. The heal comes through the breathe fire as well. And they get a pickup again on 3-4-3, three, three, the second death of the game. We're pumping the tank up even more. Rolling and boulder from Sep misses again, but there's the invest bomb, and this time Ohio's in trouble. Roar will come out, they have the magnetized, they get off the silence as well, and Ohio will get right click down. The exorcism will go for Mushi, doing a decent amount of damage to that aggressive. Trouble. The Boris will come through, he has no infest. Has but as they look to take control of the game and solidify their grip with a dive in the mid lane, DJ had something to say about that. They have the kinetic field. There's the black hole! Oh Dribbling low grab! On to three! Sep as well as MMY are gonna get two 
down, three dead, Mushi gets a double kill. DJ, are you kidding me from the low ground? DJ, God, the crowd, he just goes insane as he hits the black hole of his life. That's exactly what Fnatic needed. Despite Fnatic's best efforts, LGD continued to push forward with their mid-game power spike, turning up the heat on the fan favorites. Queued up by the exes and make it off the mech as well as the shadow wave, and now Mushi has to go to work on it. Shadow wave instead. He's got no mana to use his Ravage, though. He's in trouble. He gets forced away, and actually, they clips it back. Do they have to damage the two through Shadow wave in time? He's got Ravage. He doesn't want to use it. He will, but it catches no one. Mushi's still getting chewed down by aggressive. He gets the rage in the open moves. They finally get the kill on it too for Fnatic and LGD. DJ just getting caught in a bad position again, guys. However, through some fancy maneuvers out of mid one and great base holds by the whole team, Fnatic wouldn't say die. Get the racks out. LGD, the rest of them have to back. They have to buy back on aggressive as well. Xiao Wei having to head out him and PL will doppelganger to the low ground with 50 HP. Can they catch him in time? Open Moons will try to TP around. Can they find He's the right move? Oh! He'll make it out in time! Mid what a TP from mid one! What a play from the young star. This maybe is actually going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with mid one and lose. And Aggressive is now going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Ohio, but he is getting chewed through by the Exorcism. They have to rolling Boulder away. They will at least lose this first one. With Fnatic's late game carries coming online and LGD seeking the death blow, it was once again time for DJ to be the hero. Black hole counter initiation, Static Storm on top, Aggressive is low, they get off the Static Storm, Shelly pops for Frederick's not enough, maybe it's getting chewed through by mid one, they get off the roar, they'll lose two, they'll lose three, they buy back on the tide, he's got another Ravage, they have no buyback on maybe, what an initiation from DJ, and they'll find another one. They get MMY, Min1 gets a double. The crowd is going absolutely freaking nuts, guys. I just like took my head down, I'm like, whoa, my God, DJ's black hole, insane. You couldn't have planned it any better. As the crowd roared with delight, Fnatic took the win on the back of DJ's brilliant plays. Very low, now the black hole, he refreshes it. DJ will find three, aggressive is about to fall, and there it is, They've done it's it. DJ. It seemed like destiny that not only would Fnatic put on a sensational performance, DJ would play the game of his life in front of his hometown fans. Ravage catches on the two. Black hole counter initiation. Static storm on top. Aggressive is low. They get off the static storm. Shelly pops for Frederick's not enough. Maybe it's getting two through by mid one. They get off the roar. They'll lose two. They'll lose three. Very low. Now the black hole. He refreshes it. DJ will find three. Aggressive is about to fall. And there it is. While Fnatic wouldn't win another game for the rest of the tournament, swept out by Newbie and then Team Liquid, in the grand scheme of things, that doesn't really matter. Why? Because everyone loves a hero. And on that day in Manila, the Philippines had theirs. And his name was DJ. Thanks for watching. If you want more great content, be sure to hit that subscribe button.